Did you know that partitioning and compressing your data not only saves on storage, but also improves performance? Oracle offers many enabling technologies in the database that address the ill effects of data growth, including degrading performance. These capabilities can be used independently or, as you'll see, better together. Since we covered partitioning and compression in prior Did You Know segments, today we're going to focus on the more advanced capabilities, heat map, compression and storage tiering, and automatic data optimization, or ADO. Let's begin with the Oracle Database's heat map function, which tags our data with additional information that tells us when it was last inserted or updated and when it was last queried. Note that since heat map is built into the database, it's far more granular, performant, and intelligent than storage-based functionality, which only sees bits and bytes. Now that we have our data mapped, we can categorize it for our needs. For example, identifying the data as hot, warm, or cold. And based on these categories, we can begin to make intelligent decisions and take actions that increase performance and save us money. Which brings us to our next capability, compression and storage tiering. Using our sales orders example again, we can see that we have a year's worth of data. Our most current quarter will be hot since it's being actively updated. The other quarters will also be actively queried, so they'll be quite warm. We'll want to compress these partitions with Oracle Advanced Compression, which is highly efficient for transactional data that is actively updated. And we'll locate these hot partitions on our fastest tier one storage to ensure our best performance. We'll probably want to keep several years worth of data for year over year comparisons, order history, and other reporting and analytics. So, what happens over time? Well, as our data ages, activity declines, especially our updates and inserts, which gives us the opportunity to increase compression and save even more on storage. For example, using Oracle Warehouse Compression gives us much higher compression ratios in the realm of 10x or more without sacrificing query performance. And we may also decide to move the data to lower cost storage. Finally, what if we want to keep even more historical data, perhaps 10 years worth for compliance and regulatory purposes? That data is never updated and very rarely queried. In this case, we'll want to maximize our compression with Oracle Archive Compression and keep it on our lowest cost storage tier. For this archive data, we can also flag it as read-only and save on repeated backups. The final step in implementing our ILM strategy is to use Oracle Automatic Data Optimization, or ADO, to automate the entire process. ADO lets us create policies that specify different compression levels for each storage tier and to control when the data movement takes place. Let's look at a few examples of what policies might look like. We might decide to only compress our data once it has not been modified for over 30 days. How do we know this? Remember that heat map tracks this information. And as the data ages, we can create another policy to increase the compression and save even more space. Our last policy kicks in only if we are running low on storage space. It looks for our least access data partition, compresses it, and moves it to a lower storage tier. As you can see, we have a great deal of flexibility when creating these policies. Oracle Automatic Data Optimization is completely transparent to our applications. So, now you know. You can enable your Oracle database to improve performance and maybe even defer your next storage purchase. To get started, make sure to check out these great resources on oracle.com, including the free partitioning and compression advisors that you already have in your database. And be sure to check out the rest of our Did You Know video series, where we take a closer look at each of the capabilities that we covered today, and a lot more. Thanks for listening.